songs but really good pain is epic and uh i think it's new rage but pain is really cool because it's, it's got this really cool drum pattern in it that's like that yeah it's cool it's a really good album then i tried my hand at summerland which is a regular sort of heavy metal album i like it although the drums are a bit mm, um but the actual album is definitely worth checking out they're def definitely one of the high points of the new wave of heavy metal that's coming out where they sort of like witch hazel and gatekeeper and Toledo Steel and Eternal Champion. They're, they're like them sort of bands. I think I'm frowning constantly at this hat. I'm hiding my really bad hair. I need a haircut. Then I got Hatchet's new album, which I didn't even know was out until I bought a streaming service on Google. I know, blasphemy, but I'm only using it because of my book that I'm writing and my hard drive packed in, so I have to. Otherwise, I couldn't write my book. And luckily, because of it, I discovered this album, this is epic. Hatchet are definitely one of the best new thrash metal bands out at the moment and it really annoys me that they don't get mentioned as much as Havoc, who I don't think are actually as good as Hatchet. Um, I do like Havoc, it's not that I don't like them, but I think Hatchet are actually better, um, much more punchy. Um, ex excellent album. Check out ooh, Hail to the Lies and The Warsaw. There's nothing else. Then I bought this band just because I like the cover and I've never heard of them. Condor. The album is called Unstoppable Power. I don't know if that's helping you to see it. Um, I've only listened to it once, if I'm really honest. I haven't had a chance to listen to it again yet. But from what I heard, they're pretty solid. Thrash metal band. They're fairly new, I think. I couldn't really find that much information on them. Um, so they're definitely going to be one of those bands that become less well known. So if you fancy taking a risk and trying out some really cool artwork, let me get that out of the cover. It's like a skeleton with three heads, one of which is a rat. Um, check them out. You won't be disappointed. You can keep that. Then I bought Dark Angels Darkness Descends. This is an epic album. Uh, I was blown away by the drumming and the technicality of it. It's very sort of fast. My only complaint is the production is a little bit shit, but can't have everything, I suppose. Um, and then it's got a live EP thing and then another live thing after it as well. So you get to listen to all the same songs, but live! So that was pretty cool. Um, definitely worth buying. It's definitely a forgotten classic. Or maybe not such a forgotten classic, but in magazines, if you read magazines, they don't normally bring up Dark Angel, and they should, because it's really good. That rhymed. Then, I got Overkill, Under the Influence. I prefer Years of Decay, but this is pretty good. The only song that didn't really gel with me was Drunken Wisdom. I don't know why, it's, it's, it seems a bit, meh, like they sort of threw it in there to make it longer. Um, so, end of the line, head first. Mad Gone World, really good. And again, I love the bass sound they have. Overkill just got such a good bass sound. It's really like the opposite of Slayer. You just don't have a bass sound, which is a shame because I really like Slayer. Then I bought this Deliverance Weapons of Warfare. Um, I haven't actually listened to it yet. Um, I can't open it. Um, yeah, it was just on my list of sort of lesser known thrash metal thingies. Um, my understanding is that they're a Christian um, thrash metal band, which doesn't really make sense to me, but I don't really care. Um, generally, I don't really listen to the lyrics anyway. Um, I do find it interesting that they have a, an actual gospel or a psalm or something as one of their songs. I'm actually quite excited to listen to it, just to find out how cheesy it is, really. Um, but I quite like the album cover. It's an angel beating the shit out of a demon. What's wrong with that, eh? If you watch Supernatural. Ah! My most controversial and annoyed CD purchase of this birthday session was Mortal Sin, Mayhemic Destruction. Now, I paid 20 quid for this, 
However, I got a refund when I realised that it was a CDR. Right. Had I realised, I never would have purchased it. I don't understand how... I understand how it's legal, but I don't understand how there's a market for CDR copied discs. CDRs are different to audiobook CDs. They are not laminated, which means they get damaged much more easily. Um, and having paid 20 quid, I would have expected something of a lot higher quality, whether it was a CDR or not. So I own this album, but I don't, as far as I'm concerned, because it's not a proper copy, but it is a legal copy, because it's printed by Amazon, um, with all the licensing and rights and whatever the stuff they need to do it. They've just done it on a CDR, which in my head makes it not a proper CD or copy. Plus, there's no booklet, it's just this crappy piece of paper. So I was very disappointed, and I did actually manage to get a refund which I was quite pleased about. So, yeah, beware on Amazon when you're buying slightly lesser, rarer albums. Make sure they're not a CDR, unless you don't mind it being a CDR. And then last but not least, I managed to get a hold of Slaughter's Strapado, Strapado, something. I haven't actually listened to this yet. It's been a bit busy the last couple of days. Um, so I couldn't tell you what it's like. I understand that it's really fast and sort of death metal-y, thrash metal-y, somewhere in between. And look at that silver and goldy CD that looks like bronze. And it's in a red case. I love it. It's really nice. So yeah, I've got one other CD coming, but it's a surprise, just in case it doesn't actually get here, because it's coming from Japan. I hope it gets here. Touch wood. That's laminated wood. There you go. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. That has been my epically long birthday playlist that I've got for my birthday. My 31st, 31st birthday. I'm <laughs> old. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been a personal spin. Look forward to hearing comments and like and subscribe, please. And I will start doing the reviews again very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.